Do you know that about 70% of U.S. food is currently genetically modified? The FDA doesn't require that genetically modified food be labeled. A genetically modified food is one in which a gene was taken from one organism and brought into the other organism. The new organism now expresses one of the traits from the old organism. There's a huge controversy in the U.S. right now about whether GM food should be labeled or not. One camp says all GM food should be labeled all the time, and the other camp says GM food is safe and substantially equivalent to non-GM food, and none of it needs to be labeled, ever. I'm going to go through both sides of the issue, and then I'm going to propose what I think the solution to this issue should be. I'm right in the middle. So, the GM companies are really excited about the humanitarian benefits of GM foods. On the left is golden rice, and on the right is white rice, which currently is used to feed all children in Asia almost. Um, so the children in Asia don't get enough vitamin A, and because of that, about 500,000 go blind each year. People think that with GM rice, with golden rice in particular, which has vitamin A precursors, a lot of these blindnesses could be prevented, and that the humanitarian benefits are such that GM food products in the U.S. shouldn't have to be labeled, because if they were, the companies would go out of business, and then we wouldn't have any of these great humanitarian benefits at all. But not even everyone in uh, India is so excited about GM food. Here we see that the farmers aren't happy. There are a lot of reasons for that, but more importantly, people aren't happy in general about mega corporations running humanitarian ventures. Maybe the GM companies shouldn't be in charge of this? Well, that's, that's a story for another day. I'm going to go over one of the, the major concerns in the U.S. FDA regulations. People are worried that considering the problems with pharmaceuticals and other issues like that, the FDA isn't doing a good enough job regulating food or anything else right now. Are the FDA regulations strict enough on the GM products, or do they favor the mega corporations? Well, I don't know what to tell you, but I think that the FDA has on paper and in practice some really good regulations. If a food isn't digested in the stomach within 60 minutes, a whole slew of tests have to be done to make sure it can't be a potential uh, allergen. However, I'm a little bit more concerned about the environmental issues. So, when you take the GM gene and you insert it into an organism, uh, there's a worry that this gene which was transferred from the one into the other might be transferred from the new organism into another organism and that that might lead to a decreased biodiversity. Like, there will be less genetic diversity if everything has this GM gene. Um, and there's also some concern that if the that like non-target pests will be killed by the pesticide that some GM crops are producing right now. But for the most part, the pesticide issue hasn't been substantiated. The monarch butterfly is actually doing better now because GM crops allow you to use less pesticide because they produce their own pesticide. 